What's going on guys? So gotta be out there 100% honest and clear. Toro has been absolutely phenomenal in their support of the channel and providing me equipment for content and evaluation and just showcasing their stuff. You know, it all started with this Toro 2000 HDX Z Master zero turn mower, which has been flawless and it's kind of turned into a utility vehicle for us as well with all the attachments and cool little things that are hanging off of it. But in addition to that, they provided me with their 60 volt tool line, basically all their, their long and landscaping tools for trimming, edging, uh, mowing. They got me their, their really cool mower, which is their super recycler 60 volt mower, which was super awesome. And I'm being 100% honest here. I haven't had any issues with any other stuff and we've been using most of it pretty extensively. I mean, to give you an idea, this thing has 72.3 hours on it. We've only had it a few months. So we certainly put some, uh, some light commercial work is probably what I'd say since we're not a commercial operation, but at the same time, you know, we have a lot of grass, a lot of stuff out here that's not growing because it hasn't been raining. But yeah, we use the heck out of this thing and it's been very, very helpful for us for just about everything. That's why you see the buckets all full of stuff. That said, um, I got some new stuff in the mail. So let's go over what, uh, what they sent. All right, so, you know, they uh, they sent me an email after they provided me a bunch of their 60 volt stuff and they said, you know what, is there anything in particular you think you could use that would be, you know, worth shooting some content on and evaluating and showing, you, showing viewers how it might work? And you guys know one thing we've been doing a lot of out here is replacing fence. And anytime you replace fence, you have to dig a big hole in the ground to be able to put your new post in the ground, pour your concrete in. And so far we've been doing it the old fashioned way with a manual post hole digger which, you know, I'm not going to say it's too difficult in some areas because this is really loose sand in a lot of ways. So, you know, you hit 36 inches pretty easily when it's all sand. But in some areas, it's not. Some areas, it's a lot harder material. And uh, they make this really cool one or two person earth auger that includes an eight inch auger bit. Thing weighs 41 pounds total. So it's actually not very heavy, to be honest. And the box was really easy to manage. I've already cut the tape open. And check this thing out. So here it is. It's wrapped in plastic up here. And again, it's not terribly heavy if I weren't trying to lift it from the engine side. But yeah, let's get this thing unboxed, thrown out on the table, and we'll show you what it's all about. Okay, so we have everything unboxed and assembled. We have the bit here on the end, which is this little piece. It comes separate in the box, so you have to hunt for it, screw it into the bottom. Eight inch bit on it already. 8 inch auger bit. Has this really cool spring right here which acts as kind of like this kickback preventer to where it just keeps you from feeling it if you hit something hard in the ground. It's made for one or two people. But yeah, we have everything assembled now. Let's go test this thing out and see how well it works. Okay, so we brought it over to a spot right over here with Herman, the, uh, the cart. If you guys don't know, we renamed this cart Herman. Tips on it, ready to go. Yeah, let's see how uh, how effective this is, because it's going to be pretty cool to see if I can make a nice deep hole over here. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing turned on. Got some fuel inside of the little bubble right there. Have the choke on. There we go. All right, let's see how this thing works. So that is super cool. Yeah, I was able to dig a hole eight inches in diameter. I think we went down to probably about two feet, maybe two and a half feet in a matter of, what was that, about 10 seconds. That is really, really cool. So let's see if we go a little deeper. That is super, super cool, so efficient. Yeah, that's gonna make life a lot easier. Now, if the sand was really dry, it would probably be caving in on itself. 
But given that it's a little damp right now, man, that just, uh, that alleviates a lot of backache. Very, very cool. Good. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be, honestly. Okay, so now we've moved to another area. If you could pan to this tree right here, just so they can see that there's this big giant oak tree right here. And the reason why we're here is because there's gonna be roots coming out everywhere around here. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have an obstacle down here which is gonna prevent us from getting through. So I really wanna see how this performs in terms of kickback. And if that spring right there in the center will actually help prevent this thing from like just grabbing out of my hands, cause it'll be interesting. All right, we're gonna turn it on again. I think we have fuel going to it. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, here we go. We're definitely hitting some roots right now, but it's still digging in, but I'm gonna see if I can control it. Okay, so you can just see the roots down in here. And all of that was preventing it from going any deeper. And I'm sure I hit some really, really thick roots, which if I worked at it enough, I probably would have been able to get through. But yeah, definitely when you start hitting really, really big roots, it's gonna wanna kick back. And this did a pretty good job because it didn't really feel like it was uh, gonna snatch it out of my hand. But it certainly was a little too much for this thing to cut through, which I, Kind of expected it. You know, you want to get through some really, really big roots, you're probably going to have to go to a, like a tractor attachment or an excavator attachment. But what I can tell you is, this thing is going to make life so much easier out here. Yeah, we'll still have to get to some areas where, you know, we're going to have some roots that kind of impede our progress. But this is certainly going to help, especially when we're doing, you know, fence line, adding fence, adding posts to the ground, and needing just a really quick way to dig a deep hole. Because from here, to about here is three feet. So I should be able to get in at least three feet in the ground, which is the ideal depth for most of the stuff I'll be doing. All right, so there you have it. This thing is pretty dang cool. But this thing uh, is gonna be super helpful out here. I really appreciate it. Uh, Toro, you guys have been an awesome supporter of the channel. Um, and this new property has needed a lot of equipment so we can make it what we need it to be. So I definitely appreciate any time we get support from companies like Toro who can provide equipment like this that I can showcase to you guys, put it through the ringer, and uh, give you guys kind of an informed review of, of how these things work for us. So very cool with this product, very, very awesome. This is actually something that's been on a wish list of mine for a long time, and, and I've considered just biting the bullet to go get one. I've even considered the attachment for the mini excavator, but big big difference in terms of $6,000 versus you know $500. So if you're interested in this, I will put a link in the description, and uh, maybe this is something you might be able to use on your property, especially if you're gonna be setting posts in the ground for any reason. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon and when it comes time to replace the front property fence line we'll uh we'll be putting this thing to, to good use for sure